Who goes there? Don't pretend there's nobody there. I heard you shuffling around. Show yourself. I'm serious. Show yourself. You're hiding behind that tree trunk, aren't you? Come out. Slowly. The hell. I could have sworn I... Yeah, I thought so. You know you're in the territory of the Ortel Kassir, don't you? What? Did you think I wouldn't hear you? Put your arms behind your head and take a few steps towards me. What's wrong with you? Do what I told you to do. Now, or I'll put an arrow between your eyes. Ugh. <sighs> Rillafine, preserve us. What's wrong with you? Get up. Up. Are you okay? Are you hurt? <sighs> this had better not be some kind of trick. <sighs> mm. That's a nasty looking wound. And it's been festering. Hold on. This is just a local herb. Works as a styptic, so it should stop the bleeding. It won't replace the blood you've already lost, though, or help with the infection that's already setting in. You need proper medical attention, and somewhere to rest while you heal. Is there nobody else with you? Hmm. Can you stand? Okay, well, try. Lean on me, if you need to. Take my shoulder, there. <clears throat> okay. Your legs hurt too, from the looks. Walk with me, or go slowly. My outpost isn't that far. Half an hour, perhaps, in your condition. I won't expect you to talk much while we're walking. Seems like it's taking a lot of effort for you. Concentrate on moderating your breathing and preserving your energy. I do have to tell you, though, that I am not generally supposed to take in strangers. My role is to protect these woods from intruders. That's it. And, as far as I can tell, you're an intruder. What I'm saying is, don't take my kindness for weakness. Others of my kind may have left you there to die, or shot you without a second thought. And I'll still do that in a moment's notice if I think you threaten our sanctuary. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, for now. Don't squander it. Have you been a while without water, by the way? If so, you should have some now. That styptic I applied can cause dehydration, or... So I understand. Mm. Wait, then. <sighs> I hope you don't mind sharing a water skin. You'd better not mind. You don't have much choice. Here. <laughs> Why are you hesitating? It's not poisoned. If I wanted to harm you, I would have already. Look. There. Now, drink. Good. I can tell you needed that. Come on. Looks like that leg is really giving you trouble. No. Hmm. Lean on me as much as you need to. Try to avoid putting weight on it. If it's really painful, you could have a broken bone. I don't know what you've been through, but don't try telling me now. Save your breath. You'll... Uh, wow. Uh, uh, God. You really are in bad shape. Stay with me now. Uh, so pale. Mm. The wound. Still bleeding. 
How can that be? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to pick you up. We'll make faster progress if I just carry you to the outpost. Sorry. This will probably hurt. <sighs> I'll try to move as gently as I can, but we need to get you to the outpost, somewhere clean and warm. I may be able to call on a healer to help you from there. Brace yourself. Ah, uh, elephant. I didn't think you knew. Well, maybe it's better that you are. I... Yes, another stranger. A stranger who is probably about to die. I don't know why so many of us seem so opposed to helping those in need. Well, I don't know what we've had this conversation before. I don't want to argue with you. Please, just... I've already tried that, of course. It didn't work. I think the wound must be from a poison blade of some kind, I don't know. That or a creature of dark magic. It's not my area. Fine. Better than hurt in my way. Welcome back to the land of the living. I'm glad you've woken up. You've been out for quite a while. <sighs> Two and a half days. Mm. I was starting to get worried. I've had to head out a couple of times for food and to do my rounds. Each time I hoped I would return to find you awake. But no. Still, <laughs> here you are at last. I'm glad that scroll wasn't completely wasted. Are you comfortable? In any pain? There probably isn't a whole lot I can do if you are in pain, but the wound is healing. Slowly. So, hopefully you being awake is a good sign. A little pain. Uh, let me try, um... I know no magic, but... There is a tree in these woods whose sap can relieve some pain. We may have some to hand. Ah, yes. Here, lift your shirt. Easier for me to apply it, with the wound being where it is, than for you to do it yourself. There. That should help the pain a little. It works quickly, so... Do you feel it? Mm hmm Good. Do you feel well enough to eat? You probably should. It's been a long time. I've got some fluids into your system, but... Your stomach must feel hollow. Yes. You look very weak. Can you sit up in bed? Okay. I'll get you something to eat. Uh, this is probably quite bland. I'm about as good a cook as I am a healer. You really couldn't have been tended to by someone worse suited to the role of nursing. <laughs> But still, it's something nutritious. Here. Oh, your hands. They're shaking. You must be very weakened. Here. Let me. I'll feed you. There's really nothing to be embarrassed about. I've been fed in the past when I was injured. It is something people do for one another. Open. Not too hot. I can leave it to cool for a moment if need be, but... <laughs> no. I'm sure you're ravenous. Yeah. 
Uh, I hope that's uh, edible, at least. Oh, really? You like it? I did try to make it palatable. I don't normally bother when I'm cooking for myself, but I thought, as I have a guest, I should put a little more effort in. It sounds like it was worth it. I'm glad for that. How did you find yourself so gravely injured and alone in these woods? It's a dangerous place to travel, especially on your own. None of my business. <laughs> That's an odd way to talk to someone who's just nursed you back to health from near death. I didn't do that expecting anything from you, of course, but still. I would have hoped that you would feel you can trust me with a little information about yourself. Plus, it would make it a lot easier for me to trust you if I knew a little about you. I put a lot on the line bringing you here, you know? It's not something I should have done. No. Fine. You don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. Could you tell me your name, at least? I should have asked before, but there were more pressing concerns, mainly the blood pouring out of your chest. Hmm. Good to make your acquaintance. I am Evalios. What? Huh? How do you know my name? Oh. You are awake for that exchange, then. I thought you were unconscious. Forgive me. Not a very welcoming introduction. Ellison is protective of this land, as are most people of my kind. Mm. Most of the time it is for the best. We live in difficult times and have many enemies who, if we gave them any quarter, would gladly take this land from us. Oh, people of many kinds. Humans, yes. High elves also. And, of course, the half-elf offspring of both. Drow too. All exhibit destructive tendencies when faced with a forest like this one. Wood is a valuable natural resource, as is the land that these trees stand on, certainly. But they know not how to balance their use of it with the needs of nature. They would cut it all down if we allowed them to. And then, of course, there are the more primal forces of evil that we contend with, but the less said about that, the better. Suffice it to say, these are not safe lands, and my fellows are right to be wary of strangers. Friends. Me and Ellison. Hmm. Yes, I suppose we are. We have walked these woods together for many years, it's hard to imagine a world without them. But we argue a lot, as perhaps you could tell. Our outlooks on many important things differ greatly. Perhaps not the most compatible pair you could imagine. Once I might have said that there was something between us, but no, that's long gone. Which is probably for the best. Now... You finish that stew right quick. Shall we see if you can stand? Your leg had been badly sprained, but as far as I can tell, no bone was broken. You should be able to put some weight on it now. Ah, here, let me help you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It looks like that isn't giving you too much trouble. How does it feel? Yeah, no surprise it's still a little sore. I'm glad it's better than it was, though. Another day or two of rest and I'm sure it will be fine. Your wound, too. It still looks fairly nasty, but better, a bit. It's healing, though slowly. <laughs> I reckon you'll have a hell of a scar. It'll go nicely with the others. Oh, <laughs> I've got you. Okay. Back into bed for you. 
rest a little more. Let that meal digest. Perhaps, in a couple of hours, you could come out with me on my patrol? Might be good to move that leg a little more if you can face it. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. I am glad to have had you with me on this patrol these last few weeks, you know. It's normally a lonely responsibility. Hmm. Sometimes I don't mind. The tranquility of nature has its charms. Helps one keep a clear mind. But, uh, well, there are only so many trees you can see before they start to get a bit repetitive. Sorry, trees. <sighs> no. Of course, like my kin, I have a great love of nature. But I was born here, and raised here, and now I work here. I've never been outside of this forest. I do wonder what I'm missing sometimes. The things you've told me about these last couple of weeks have really got me thinking. Ah, uh, nothing. Just idle musing. Uh, <clears throat> now, I think it has been two weeks to the day that I found you bleeding out against a tree. How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, your wound and your leg. Well, clearly your leg isn't giving you any more trouble. You're keeping up with me, no problem. So, how about that wound? It's been a while now since I checked on it, and you've been handling that well enough yourself now that you can move around more easily. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. I'll take a look. <sighs> my, my. That's looking much better. I think getting out, getting plenty of fresh air, getting your blood pumping, it's been helping, hasn't it? Somewhat, anyway. It's still healed slower than I would normally expect, but still, it's looking good, relatively. I suppose you'll... Um, yeah, I should just spit it out, shouldn't I? I was going to say that I suppose you'll want to move on soon. Isn't that right? I'd say you'll be in good enough shape to travel again in a couple of days. Maybe even tomorrow. Hmm. Of course. It's... Uh, well, I, it's a shame that we... I mean, I, I may never see you again. <laughs> yes, well, of course, if you ever happen to be in these parts, I'd be very happy for you to visit me. I'm, uh, not so sure the others would be so happy to see you. I suspect some of them think you've rather outstayed your welcome. Although, I don't know, they aren't as hostile as they might be to other strangers. I suspect some might even have taken a bit of a liking to you. <laughs> no, I'm not just being nice, I really think that. It's a good thing. We do tend to be rather insular. A bit of exposure to someone from outside Del Kisir. That is, someone who isn't trying to chop down our forest or plunder our village, has truly done some good. Though, I don't think they'll ever quite shake their paranoia. What I'm trying to say is, I'm very grateful to have met you. It's been wonderful getting to know you. I'm almost glad that your injury has taken so long to heal. <laughs> I've helped the occasional stranger in the past, but I don't think any of them have ever had to stick around for more than a couple of days. Certainly not enough time to really get to know them, as I feel I have with you. Yes. We have got to know each other quite well. Wouldn't you agree? I hope you would. These long walks in the forest, out on patrol. Plenty of time to talk. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me if I've been talking too much this whole time. I'm just not used to having someone to converse with. Oh, I know. It doesn't make much sense that we do this on our own to me, either. 
I often think it would be a lot more sensible to do these patrols in pairs, both for our safety and mental well-being. But there simply aren't enough of us to cover the whole forest in pairs, unfortunately. Too much ground to cover. Not enough people trained to protect the land. Hmm. There just aren't enough young to replace the old. But enough of that. Um, as you're going to be leaving soon, I'd like to ask, once more, how you were so badly injured. I've let you keep your secrets while you've been healing, but... If I don't ask one final time, now, not knowing will bother me forever, I'm sure of it. Ah, uh, no, of course, as always, you aren't obliged. I'm just nosy. I do love to get involved in things that are nothing to do with me. Plus, uh, I hope that you trust me a little more now. Uh, certainly I'll keep it between us if need be. What was it, then? Oh. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear of this. Betrayal is not something unfamiliar to the Wood Elves, I'm afraid. So I sympathize. How long had you been traveling together? A shame that such a long relationship ended in that way. Do you know why they betrayed you? Oh, gods. Well, power and wealth are two truly corrupting things. Clearly, your former traveling partner was not strong enough to resist. Tell me, do you believe that they are still alive? I assume you fought back. Were they injured enough that they may have perished after making their escape? <laughs> they attacked you while you were sleeping. That is disgusting. It has been a long, long time since I heard of such low behavior. <sighs> that makes me angry. Obviously, it would have been bad enough if they'd turned on you and given you a fair fight. That still would be unforgivable. But to attack you in your sleep? I cannot imagine being so thoroughly corrupted. And now, they're out there still, pursuing your once shared goal on their own. Are you... are you going to try to find them? Is vengeance your goal? You don't strike me as a vengeful person, but in this case, perhaps it would be more justice than vengeance. Mm. I don't blame you. I would want to go after them as well. I'm surprised you've stuck around here for as long as you have. I would be desperate to go after them as soon as I could walk. But you're smarter than that, aren't you? It wouldn't make any sense to go after them when you were still injured. You'd likely end up... Well, that doesn't bear thinking about. I trust you know where they'll be heading. A cave behind a waterfall. <laughs> In these woods, there is only one such feature I know of. Although, I don't know what you expected to find there. We know these woods intimately. There is nothing to be had in that place but mushrooms. If you two were on your way there in search of riches, you were going to be disappointed, I'm afraid. Still, if it is the cave I'm thinking of, it isn't far from here. You were close. Did you know where you were going, or were you scouring the entire forest until you found it? Then we may be in luck. What way were you heading together when you were betrayed? <laughs> oh, you were going in exactly the wrong direction. This is good. We, you, you should head there right away. I can give you a map. 
You may still get there first, then you may lie in wait to exact your justice. I, I think you should set off now. It's only a couple of days walking from the outpost. Let's head back there. I can give you some supplies for the road. Um, okay. I've given you enough rations for a week. That way you won't need to waste time pausing to hunt on your way there. Rope, too. Important to have that. You may need to do a little climbing when you reach the waterfall. There is a cliff edge there. And uh, here. This is one of our maps of the forest. No other peoples but the Ort del Kassir can chart it. We aren't supposed to give these to anybody, but in this case, I think you must have it. We are here, and the cave is here. See, all that forest, the Deira will be searching, and you were so close. Take it. You don't need to thank me. I'm merely doing what's right. Although, it pains me to let you go. <sighs> yes, it's dangerous, and I'm scared for you. But that isn't all. The thing is, I'll miss you. Having you around has been wonderful. I've never felt such a connection to someone. I can't explain it. <sighs> I didn't think that I'd ever feel this for someone of the Athan, a human. <laughs> but here we are. You'll miss me too. Do you mean that? I've wondered if you felt there was something between us. Or, if you were simply grateful for my help. But, I do think it's more than that. Yes. I... I don't think you should go. Alone. Let me come with you. The thought of you heading out to face your fate alone, with nobody to help you should you need it, I couldn't live with that. <laughs> no. Someone else can take my patrol. Or nobody. Who cares? There are more important things in life than jealously guarding this little patch of woodland. I've always felt this way. <laughs> I want to come with you. Can I? Thank you. I... Thank you. So, this is what you wanted. I was worried about making the first move. <laughs> but I knew there was something between us. I think going after that traitor can wait for just a little longer.